start by telling us your name, please. Uh, my name is Steve Williams. Okay. And what have you brought to the harvest today? Uh, some photographs taken by my great-grandfather, Clement Elwood Fossil. Great. And when were, the most, when were most of his photographs taken? Um, early 1900s. Um, there's a picture of him and his uh, wife, Sarah Fossil. He was an amateur photographer and also the station master for uh, PPNL um, at the Third Street. And uh, as an amateur photographer, he also did some photography for the railroad. So I have a lot of old pictures of, you know, railroad related things. But um, he lived on the corner of Catawissa and Reagan, and he would uh, develop his own f film. Um, and do his own, you know, processing and everything. So. Did he work out of his home, or did he have an office in Sunbury? He, he was strictly just an amateur photographer, um, and it was just a closet uh, in his home is what his is where his darkroom was, because at that time there was no labs to send away for film processing. Can you show us uh, some of the pictures and explain them to us? Sure. Um, First, we'll go with the, uh, the family pictures. Um, this is my grandmother, Thelma Fossil, Thelma Roan, uh, Forrest Fossil, uh, Theron Fossil, and Raymond Fossil. And Theron Fossil and his brother Paul later on would start Fossil Brothers, which was a long time um, company that was in uh, Northumberland that supplied uh, appliances and things like that. This was his daughter, Amy. Amy uh, passed away when she was 10 years old. And as macabre as this may be, one of the things that he did was he took pictures of family members um, in their caskets. I have several pictures of my family members. But that was, at that particular time, uh, popular. This was actually in the front room of his home, later my grandmother's home, uh, where they laid in rest for a couple of days. People came and visited, and then they were buried. So, um, And most of my family is buried in the Pomfret Manor Cemetery. He also took uh, pictures. They did a lot of recreation. As a result of him being uh, affiliated with the Pennsylvania Railroad, they could pretty much travel wherever they wanted to. So they, they had family in Wilkes-Barre. Uh, they would go to Shemokin to Edge, Edgewood Park. Uh, amusement park, uh, any place the railroads would go. This is a picture of my great grandmother uh, ready to get onto one of the packet boats on the uh, that was the last part of the Pennsylvania Canal, uh, which is across the river over on uh, the Snyder County side. But a picture of uh, one day that they had an outing that they that they went on. And then um, finally, this is a photo that he took, and this would have been. Most likely in the 1950s, maybe 1940s, it's the, uh, when they were building the wall uh, in Sunbury and the pilings that they were driving down and the gentleman in the corner is my grandfather, Earl Roan, uh, who worked construction. Uh, in addition to uh, the wall, he also helped work on the Faber Dam, um, Route 80, several power plants around the area. So um, this is a I have not seen a lot of pictures of this. I, I have, I think, two or three of them that, that he took. So um, I just thought that was kind of a unique photo. So. so how did you personally acquire these items? Have they been passed down through your family? Digging through my grandmother's attic. Um, uh, you know, I always had just like to look at pictures, and um, she said, well, you can have them. Um, you know, gave everything to me because she didn't want them anymore, and I over a period of time, sometimes made her sit down and talk about some of the people that were on there and know who they were and tell me stories about them. So I did spend a good deal of time uh, with her getting those stories and getting family stories. And what role do you think that C. Elwood Fossil played in the history of Milton? Well, he's from Sunbury. Uh, I'm sorry, not Milton. Sunbury. <laughs> Actually, my father was from Milton, but, um, it, you know, he was just one of the, uh, like so many of the families that uh, that are still here, he was kind of the, you know, the patriarch of the fossil family. His, uh, you know, children um, spread out. Like I said, they, you know, they started companies of their own, 
um, raised families here. A good deal of uh, his direct relatives still live in this area. We still get together every year at Christmas time, um, and you know, just kind of, uh, you know, that's I guess that's kind of the backbone of the area. Uh, the families that have stayed here. Uh, well, uh, I mean, I, you know, I've lived here all my life, and you know, hearing stories from my my grandparents, uh, my parents uh, about the area, um, you know, just generally spouting. I could sit here and talk for hours, but I'm sure you don't want to do that. <laughs> No, I think this is a great project. Um, what you've done is now that I've dug out the pictures and you saw the big box I brought in, I no longer have an excuse for the rest of my family to not scan them and get them to them, which is something that they've been asking me to do. So um, I'm sure you are very aware of how labor intensive the whole thing can be, so I've kind of put it off. But. Well, thank you so much for sharing them with us today. Thank you.